Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial. My name is John Jardine from Ukavuma and today I'm going to show you how to implement the version 3 view picklist custom control into your XPages environment. To download this control you'll have to go to openntf.org and you can just search picklist custom control or view picklist. You'll need to download the version 3.1 to follow with this tutorial. Once you've downloaded that zip file and extracted the contents you'll see the following files. Open up the view picklist bundle 3.1.nsf in your Domino designer. Okay, before we get there, let me just give you a quick demo of what we're going to do. I have an X page over here, and when I click on this button, it launches the picklist control for me. Okay, so I'm going to go and select one, two values, and when I click on finish, it goes and populates this field over here. Now, this is actually a deselect custom control that ships with the view picklist control. Uh, that's one of the features that we're going to focus on because it allows us to manage this list. The second feature is the loading mask and this will now be added on your X page and will pop up every time a partial or full refresh occurs. So for example if I click here you'll see the loading mask in the middle of the page. Alright so let's get straight to the tutorial. First thing you'll need to do is once you've got your picklist bundle database open in Domino Designer you will need to copy over the following design elements into your uh, X, X pages application and that's these three custom controls um, these two script libraries these two images and these three files which are three PNGs and finally the two um, style sheets so once you have that over into your database then we can pretty much begin. Uh, before I do that, I just want to show everyone that I have a view here called cities and it's got one column in it and I've captured four cities for now. And we're going to use these as list values in our pick list control. All right. So create an X page and call it X whatever. I'm going to call mine X pick list and click on OK. What we'll first do is we'll go to the X page properties and we'll have to set the dojo pass on load and dojo theme to true. Cool. The second thing we have to do is we have to add our view as a data source to this page so that we can reference it in our picklist control. So under data, add a domino view and select the view that you want to reference. So once we've done that, we can now go and add the loading mask. It's important that the loading mask is at the top of your X page. All right, so if we go to the all properties of the loading mask, we need to go and just populate these two fields, the image source, choose loader image, and the startup image, choose loader image 2. Okay, be sure to remove the forward slashes from these two uh, properties. All right, so that's our loading mask done and dusted. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a panel and I'm going to call it my panel and I'm going to be adding all my controls inside this panel. Okay, so once I've created the panel and named it, I'm then going to go and add a computed field to this panel. I'm going to call this my cities and this will be the field that will hold all the values we select from the pick list. All right. So the value of my cities will, we, what we're going to do is we're going to use a scope variable. So if I click on advance, I can choose scope variable. It will be a view scope and we can call it cities. Great. Next, we can add the deselect control and we just drag it next to the, next to the my cities field. And we can go to the all properties. We'll need to give it a value, call it deselect1. And the field data source. All right. This is the data source that we will pop, uh, that will be bound to this control. So that will be the request scope that we used on this field. Uh, not request scope, my apologies, view scope. So all we do here is under field data source, we say view scope dot cities. The field ID is the computed field we need to that will be populated, which will be my cities. That's this field over here. The multi-value separator will use commas. The remove image will use the delete.png that we copied over, and we add that by adding a, a point forward slash delete.png. There we go. 
So the remove type will be an image and you can also specify if it's the required field. So that's our deselect uh, control out of the way. So the last thing that we need to do is add the pick list. So we just drag that into the panel as well. And we can now go to the properties. So let's first give it a value, dialog ID, we give it dialog one. Multi-value separator is already there. We're not going to set a field value, we're going to set a scope value. Okay. So we'll also give it a title called select cities. And the refresh ID means that when we click on finish, a partial refresh is going to occur. What would you like to refresh? And I would like to refresh the entire panel so that the computed field as well as the deselect control get refreshed as well. So I'm just going to say my panel. Type will be multiple values. And the variable name, this is again our view scope. Ah, come on. View scope dot cities. There we go. All right, so we're almost done. What we need to do now is we need to add our view data source to this pick list control. So we just go and select our data source we created. Rows per page, you can change it to whatever you want. Um, we're going to add one column and that will be the first column. So the index of the first column will always be index zero. So we're going to have this one column in our pick list control. And we're also going to have this column, be po um, the values in this column, get populated into the deselect control so that we're selecting column zero. The final thing we need to do over here is we need to add a text to the button that we'll click and we'll call it select cities. And we're done. We can save this and preview it in the browser and you'll see Yaza deselect control and Yaza select cities. And when I click on this, I can now go and select the four, the three of the four values that come from the view. And when I click on finish, it will go and populate the deselect control box. And you can see it's also populating the computed field. All right. So we're going to do a little bit of tweaking over here. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to hide this computed field. Users don't need to see this. Okay. They need to just see the deselect control box. And the second thing that we're going to do is we're going to stop this black flashing from occurring every time a refresh happens. Okay. So to do this, Go back to your page and just click on my cities, the computed field, and we're going to say it's no longer visible. So we're deselecting that property. Then we go to the loading mask. And under the properties of the loading mask, you'll see that the mask color is black. This is the flash that we've seen behind the scenes. We can change that to transparent. Now, if I save this and preview it again, first thing, you'll see that the black flash is gone but the loading mask is still there. It's because it's using a transparent background. And then the second thing is when we click on finish, our deselect control gets populated, but the, the, the computed field is now hidden. So I hope this was easy enough to follow. I apologize if I ran at this at a bit of a speed. There are also two other video tutorials about the view pick list that you will be able to reference uh, uh, from my blog post and these will show you how to use additional features in the view pick list like searching and type ahead which are pretty awesome but uh, other than that i hope you've enjoyed and until next time happy coding cheers